What is going on, IF Warriors? Today, we're going to try to clear up this study that has everyone in the intermittent fasting community confused. Okay, so basically what this video is going to do is going to try to explain what this new study that literally brand spanking new just came out or was just published September 14th. And that is new in the realm of studies uh, being published. Very, very new. This video is going to tackle exactly what is being said in the study summary it's not going to be a deep dive into the study but it is going to be a dive into the summary itself because the summary has confused a lot of people even the title has confused people intermittent fasting promotes adipose browning and decreases obesity by shaping the gut microbiota that's a mouthful and a lot of people don't even know what that means so i'm gonna break that down and i'm gonna break down the summary because they do explain some tactics that they use that they can't actually use on humans this was done on mice but mice are a good uh staple for how humans will react sometimes however is not it doesn't transition exactly so unfortunately because of the way the study was done it can't actually be done on humans in this way and i'll explain because it will be unethical but it does give us an idea of what intermittent fasting is doing in our bodies and it's very very fascinating because this goes much more complex than one uh would have thought before it is much deeper in how it's speeding up the fat loss in one's body now what is intermittent fasting promoting white adipose browning and what does that even matter well white adipose what that means is white fat cells or yellow fat cells the white yellowish fat cells are the more damaging ones that could lead to health risks like cancer uh you know heart disease that is with the white and yellow fat cells. Those are the fat cells that you want least in your body. The purpose of the brown fat cells is to actually burn calories to generate heat. So it is really good for you to have more brown fat cells than you do the white fat cells. Now, white fat cells are in different parts of your body. Brown fat cells are in different parts of your body, but you can increase brown fat cells. You can do this through exercise. Oddly enough, exposing yourself to the cold can actually increase its uh, productivity in your body and um, getting adequate sleep can do that as well. But with this study, it is showing that intermittent fasting can also move the white fat cells, the white yellow fat cells and transition them into the brown fat cells, which is the one that you want. The white fat cells stay in your body and they create the visceral fat. Those are the ones that, those are the fat cells I'm telling you that you want to reduce as much as possible. So now that you understand that convoluted title that caught a lot of people off guard, now let's dive into the summary. They use every other day fasting, which is alternate day fasting, which is always the one that they use when they do these studies, which drives me nuts. But this is the one that they use. Regardless of the fact it is still fasting, so it still does the after the six hours of not eating, all that stuff, and it starts to do the different things in your body. What they found is that beige adipose development was high, changing the white fat cells to brown fat cells. Those things are called beijing. They have not found any pharmacological way to actually induce that into human beings. So there isn't any chemical or any drug that they can put into your body to force the white fat cells to transition and turn into the brown fat cells that burn calories for heat. But they did find that in this study with the mice that the every other day fasting regimen was an effective means to create that transition from the white fat cells to the brown fat cells. And with all of this, it shows that it dramatically starts to increase the positive effects on obesity and insulin resistance. Not to get so crazy into the science 
rhetoric in the study with the gut microbiota, that's basically just the multiple different type of cells that you have in your stomach alone. And it's upwards of a hundred trillion different cells that you may have in your stomach that is called the gut microbiota that is basically a bunch of cells all over the place and they start to do certain things together in unison to create these kinds of uh, uh beijing processes or you know like the changing of the white fat cells to the brown fat cells or the activation of the brown fat cells to burn calories for the to, to, to turn it into heat uh, you know different things like that these things get elevated with the every other day fasting and I call it every other day fasting because that's what it's being called in the study it is alternate day fasting however so don't rack your brain so much on that term I use it because that's the term being used in the study now the reason that this study is a little bit on the unethical side in terms of if they did it with humans is because they transplanted the microbiota cells from one mouse to the other if the mouse specifically had depleted microbiota cells in its body so that they can test it with the uh, every other day fasting which is kind of like weird um, they they're just trying to see if it works on all these different uh, types of mice and I guess that's what their thing is to go ahead and transplant that yeah, microbiota to another uh, to another mouse but and obviously isn't ethical to do with humans at all but it's super promising these studies that keep coming out show the complexity and the deep dive that that intermittent fasting holds it's much more deeper than we even think we know um, we know that you're losing weight quicker with intermittent fasting we just don't know why and it's just all these little things the insulin sensitivity the the you know these brown the, the beijing of the white uh fat cells that it, that they're expressing here i'm not saying that that's what's happening in humans i'm, I'm not saying that that's what's happening with us because we haven't done a test like that with humans but it's a clue you know it, it's it's like another set of information to let us know why this amazing weight loss protocol is so effective can this be the case with humans as well it is very possible but they only tested it on the mice but there have been many things that they've tested on mice and then when they test humans it actually goes one for one it works you know it's very identical mice have other specific factors that aren't related to humans but certain things in the cellular level are very similar and this is dealing with the cells the gut microbiota that's part of you that's the cells in your stomach and that's very very similar to the mice i'm super interested in in continuing uh the 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 study of this but shifting it from mice to men uh or i just wanted to say mice and men but actually from mice to humans i just want to know how it actually works on humans if can they test it you know to that molecular level and see if that's happening with us is the beijing process uh is it being promoted is the white fat cells turning into the brown fat cells which in turn is burning calories for heat so you're basically burning fat cells much more effectively because you're adding more of the brown then you have the white and brown fat cells are, are very limited in the human body they're you're they're more uh, you'll see it more in a in a newborn baby or a small baby babies have it a lot but not grown adults it's it's it, as you grow older you have less brown fat cells so this is interesting this is very interesting to me let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this study i'm going to link the summary of the study so you can see it trust me it is very sciencey 
Uh, so hopefully the, with the context that I've given you, it'll be easier for you to read it and, and understand what it's saying. But uh, it is interesting. It is very, very interesting. And um, I want to see this study get pushed a little bit further. I want to see them do studies on humans about this particular thing. And of course, now that this got published and it's the first, you know, it's out there, they may begin the process of doing these th this type of study with humans, but that will probably take a year or so because they want to accurately depict what happens. They need to get a bunch of subjects. So it might actually take even more than a year because they, if they want to do a year, they have to prepare sometimes for, it takes a year to prepare and then a year for the actual study and then the publishing of it. So we'll just have to wait and see. I am very interested to see where this goes. This is the new study that has everyone confused. I've read the summary. I, you know, understand it. I broke it down for you guys. So hopefully this helps you. And if you go ahead and read the summary, if you have any questions, guys, on that summary, any questions at all, go ahead and put it on the comment section and I'll try to see if I could uh, answer it for you so that I could help you out with that summary. But like I said, I wasn't, I didn't break every single little piece down because there are so many different sciencey stuff in there that you what you need to know about the study is that it is the beijing of the um white fat cells into the brown fat cells and that is promoting a more healthier uh, uh system in terms of obesity and reducing that and those kinds of things that's what you need to know about that study but if you have any specific questions on the summary of it and if anyone dares to uh, purchase the 35 dollar study which i would not recommend just read the summary you don't need to go that far into it you should be fine um but if you do if you have it somehow some way you have it go ahead and send it to me please through either my facebook or you know through the email for my youtube any single thing any way that you want to send it to me you can go ahead and send it to me i would gladly appreciate it thank you for watching this video guys if you have any other questions to any other videos that i've had in the past i will have one here my subscribe button will be down here and my jump rope button is available i'm sorry guys it's still not available but I'm working on it. We'll be up here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on Sunday. Peace.